and welcome back to the channel on this video I want to talk about the perfect e-bike yeah there's probably no e-bike that's perfect but I want to talk about what I think for me is the closest thing to perfect and like I say there's no such thing as perfection but this thing is close the bike I'm going to talk about and if you want to leave a comment in the comments below and tell me what your what e-bike to you is the closest thing to perfection maybe it's something you customized yourself or is this something you purchased and it's about as close as you're going to get to what you want for an e-bike so for me the perfect e-bike for me is one that i've ordered but I don't have it yet and that's the Graffiti X uh, to me that's got everything that I want on a bike uh, pretty much I mean I don't know I haven't tried it yet but uh, I'm anxious to try it because I've got the graffiti that I'm on right now the Lyric Graffiti 2022 model and I actually, uh, basically from the day one, when I first rode this bike, I fell in love with this bike right away. It's been my favorite bike. And that's why, without even trying the Graffiti X, I know that that's going to become my favorite bike. And why I know that is because... Lyric Cycles are awesome at making electric bikes, at least the way I like them. I like their style. I just like how they put their bikes together and design them and what parts they use on their bikes. And so I know that the Graffiti X is going to be, if I like this one, I know that one's going to be that much better. So uh, I'm looking forward to uh, getting a chance to ride it. And it's got, so it's got basically everything this has and more. So it's got a similar kind of look to it. It's got the awesome headlight that this one has, the 6000 lumen. So I know that part of it. But the other, the, the improvements where they've gotten better is the motor's a little bigger. This is a 2500 watt peaking at 47. That one's gonna be is a 3000 watt peaking at 7200. And, but it's not just about the power. I mean, I like to draw, uh, ride a little bit fast sometimes, but not all the time. But it's nice to know that you have it there if you want to. If you wish to ride a little bit faster sometimes. Sometimes you just, the bike just wants to go. And you just got to let it go. That's the way I look at it. And if you're in the right uh, place to ride it, you know, and you're not going to be uh, endangering yourself or anyone else, then yeah, I'd say uh, give me the power. And I also want it for hill climbing. So I can climb up hills without uh, the bike having any issues uh, and having trouble climbing the hills. Uh, some other things that this bike has, uh, the Graffiti X has that this one doesn't, is a full suspension. I mean, I'm really looking forward to that because this bike is nice. Like, if you ride it on the road, you don't really need the full suspension, but if it's there, yeah, that'd be a, a nice addition. But where you really need it is if you do any off-roading at all. I've tried to do a little off-roading with this, and boy, it's it's bumpy. So uh, you feel it in the back with the hard tail. So um, I am looking forward to that as well. Also, I'm looking forward to the motorcycle tires you feel a little safer riding with the uh, the uh, quality tires that can handle the speeds 
that the Graffiti X can hit and let's face it this bike and I've seen videos to prove it can hit 45 plus miles per hour and with myself weighing around 175 pounds right now it's probably going to be able to take me at a pretty good speed not that I'm going to, like I say, not that I'm going to always ride like that, but if you ever want to, um, strap on your motorcycle helmet and away you go. Um, but to me, that's, and the, the looks of the bike. I mean, if you've got everything else, let's get the looks too to make it, uh, to, to top it off. You know, it's like the uh, topping on your, on your dessert. Uh, I mean, it's nice to have a bike that has all the features, but it's also nice to have a, a bike that's a good-looking bike. The only thing missing on that bike that I've seen is the, uh, I could use mirrors, and I hope they have a brake light, because I think that's important. Otherwise, I love it. The seat looks good. So that's my uh, closest bike to perfection. I can't think of any other bike out there that I would rather have than that one for myself. So uh, let me know in the comments, what's your perfect bike or closest thing to perfect bike? Let me know in the comments what it is. Maybe it's a custom bike that you've uh, you know, customized like a Super 73 or your Onyx RCR. Speaking of the Onyx RCR, this uh, Graffiti X, other than it being 60 volt, I think if that bike was 72 volt, it would be right there, right there with the RCR as far as I can tell. Um, but hey, 60 volt is going to be fine. Um, you know, it can do pretty much everything. Uh, I haven't seen a whole lot of off-road, uh, off-roading with it, but uh, what I have seen uh, on that bike, I'm really uh, liking it. I don't know what would be my second choice, if not the if not the uh, Graffiti X, I think maybe uh, Spark Cycles has the uh, Brute and the Javelin. Both of those look interesting to me. I wouldn't want a Saran or a Talaria unless I did almost exclusive off-roading. I don't think they're, they would be my choice for uh, road bikes. But if I was doing just off-roading or pretty much all off-roading, then yeah, I'd love to try a, a Talaria or a Saran. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's another bike I would put in that, in there. I'm trying to think of ones that are in the same neighborhood, maybe price-wise. I would say Huck, a Huck, but those are, I think, a little bit more pricier. All right, well, maybe, uh, like I say, if you want to leave a uh, comment in the comments below, let me know what your perfect bike is or the closest thing to perfection. And, uh, that's going to do it for this video. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel and support us, thank you very much for doing that. Just hit that subscribe button. If you want to be uh, notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to comment on this or any other videos, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me on this video. 
And until next time, keep your wheels on the road. See you later.